But, it's okay. controller. How about this? We already know that both of us agree it's the Xbox One Elite controllers, Elite One and Two. All right. Let's go second best because we both already I agree. On I, that. I was going to say that. All right. Back at it with more videos. More. Gabo, best yeah. and worst controllers. Start start with start with the worst. Just get people the worst mad that I the worst that well, the worst that I ever experienced. Yeah, you know, and obviously there's the trash that doesn't really count. But I'm talking, you know, that some people might a, like. A lot, a lot of people is gonna be mad. Okay. Uh, Dreamcast. Really, I like the Dreamcast Dream, controller. Dreamcast and GameCube. What? You don't like the game? Okay, I understand the Dreamcast, even though I like it, but I don't understand how you don't like the GameCube controller. That's a great controller. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it feels weird in my hand. Nintendo's, I don't know if I ever told you I got big hands. You do. Nintendo's always had weird controllers, but I always think the GameCube is one of the better ones. But, oh, hey, we can disagree. Yeah, I, I, everybody say the same, but I don't know. It's, it's okay to know that you're wrong. Yeah, oh, of, of course. <laughs> and, um, and wait, let's, let's go. No, let's keep going worse. Let me do a worst. All right. Uh, for worst, it's funny because it's one of my favorite consoles, but uh, the Sega Master System controller, the D-pad is the worst D-pad. It's not an actual D-pad. It's like a circle D-pad, which is supposed to have better motion, but I don't like it. It feels soft. It feels squishy. The NES controller being what it is, basically, you know, another looking version. The D-pad feels good. Like, you know what you're doing. The Sega Master System controller, sometimes you're holding right. You don't know if you're holding like up and right or down and right. It's just, I don't know. It's you know, monkey. A easy way to answer that question for yourself. Yeah. yeah. Pick up those controllers nowadays. After after you are playing with the Elite controller and oh. the Pro controller. Well, it's like it's like it's like playing. It's like you are playing your Xbox One X, and you stop and you go and play a eight bit game. Well, of course, it's going to feel worse, but I'm saying even in back then, I was kind of aware that like, eh, the Nintendo controller handles a lot better than this. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I was wondering what was up with your angle there. All right. Best controller. Best, best okay. controller. How about this? We already know that both of us agree it's the Xbox One Elite controllers, Elite One and Two. All right. Let's go second best because we both already I agreed on I that. I was going to say I have a tie okay, right now, to be honest. Ooh. So is the Xbox One Elite mm -hmm. and this beauty here. The Switch Pro. Man, this controller is so perfect. It's the a good Rumble controller. is amazing. The HG Rumble is definitely a game changer for yeah. me. Uh, I'm going to go with Super Nintendo. Just, uh, I've, you know, I've always loved the Super Nintendo controller. So, yeah, that's a, as far as a, a non-next-gen controller, Super Nintendo holds it down. Oh, I, need a, I need a Xbox controller tattoo here. You do. Don't You don't have any muscles, though. You need to get some muscles tattooed. Really? Body. Really? <laughs> No muscle, the best. No. I don't know. Donnie what that used was. to be my, you Donnie used to be my trainer, bro. They don't know who Donnie is. Donnie was the of really course. buff guy in one of our videos. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, oh, oh! Here's a question that you posed to me earlier. Wait a minute. Are you standing? I'm always standing. Oh, all right, all dude. Right. I'm a stander, bro. I'm all about uh, staying, staying, staying exercisable. Uh, will streaming, mean? will streaming replace consoles? Sadly, I think it will do. In well, here's I, will, I will say, I will say, ten years from now. That's what I was gonna say because yeah, the Google Stadia made me feel like, oh crap, here it goes. We're gonna lose consoles. We're gonna lose consoles. The Stadia sucked. It sucks. Yeah, nobody cares about it. It, it, it. Nobody talks about it ever. It's it's erased from gaming already. But you see what Xbox is doing? No. With the Game Pass? Yes. That's the roots. That's the beginning. Yeah, but the Xbox, I don't know. The Game Pass is done so well. Yeah. Um, it, That's the right way to do it. Done properly. The, the Google Stadia is one of those things where I don't know if I've met one person, and we know a lot of people in gaming, in the gaming world, that gives two rats about the Stadia or has even mentioned, I don't think I've heard about it. Since the week after it was gone, I don't even think I've heard someone mention the word Stadia. So, so I got a quick question for you. Yeah. When you are sitting in your couch, okay, and you have to stand up to change the disc, yep. How you feel about it? I don't like it. 
But that's because we're lazy. But that sucks. I'm it's also because the kind of, we are lazy. But I'm also the kind of person like like you just mentioned me standing. I'm also the kind of person that will force myself to do things that are less convenient, like take the stairs. Like I'm always going to take the stairs over an elevator. <laughs> well, I'm the kind of person that is the positive of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the opposite. But I'm saying that's yeah. so, as much as I do know it's a it's it's funny that it's an inconvenience because as kids or even just a few years ago it was never a thought like oh i have to go put in the game i mean back in the day we would spend 10 minutes trying to make an nes game work and never even yeah. think about it yeah never yes, even think about it and now when we up when we go click on our phone and we want something to download and it's not done in two seconds we're like oh come on this is taking forever yeah trust me in 10 years i'm gonna be 50 and i think it's better for me that i know i'm gonna still play well the older you get of course the more you're gonna yeah. want the convenience you know exactly so that's what i'm saying and and everything is facing that way bro yeah i think everything will be digital at that exactly. point anyway so i don't necessarily think it's just a, a gaming thing that will be replaced by streaming especially with things like right now with well at the time of us filming coronavirus uh that going outside and getting things done sometimes aren't always an option you know well i, I don't to be honest i think that's what's gonna happen in like yeah. 10 years but i don't know and, and the, knows? i wonder if at some point in the future if streaming will kind of tie in companies together like will it still be say we start streaming and only for video games in five years is it going to be Sony streaming and Xbox streaming? Or is it like everything's on this and it's just an option. You download what game you want to download, you know? I, I think the first company that will move that way is going to be Microsoft, man. To like open it to everybody? Yeah, like yeah. for streaming. And the last one is going to be Nintendo. Oh, well, th that, we, uh, who knows? Who well, knows? here's the thing. This is a whole other topic, but we can get into it. Um, as far as exclusives go, you know, PlayStation has great exclusives. The Xbox has great exclusives, depending who you talk to. Not everybody likes it. Uh, but you can't deny the number of exclusives that Nintendo has that people would pay up the yin-yang for. Things like Mario, Donkey Kong, yeah. Kirby, Metroid. Uh, just the list goes on and on. With Nintendo, they have extreme amount of exclusives. Like you said, for them to wanting to go to everybody can have ownership to Mario almost seems like unreal. No, no, I don't think so. But I mean, who, the future, I don't know. Who, who knows? knows what the future is going to do? Who knows? We, we didn't think we'd be locked up in our houses, did we? <laughs> About a month ago. So it's crazy. Life changes quick. Uh, yeah. Gabo, you had kind of a weird one here. So I'm going to let you kind of go for it. You were saying before we got in, you're like, oh, I kind of want to throw out the idea of some bands. You would, okay. you would take out the original music and have those band soundtracks be in there as the okay. default music behind now be careful with this because if you try to take out some good music i'm gonna have no, to no, punch no. you through the screen wait, wait 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 yeah oh. i know oh. it's not taking nothing away from the from some games great music okay but i'm gonna give you a, a, some examples sometimes like i did early today i was playing dark soul and i was listening in my i mute the tv even dark soul house amazing music and I was listening in my phone, the White Album. The White Album by the Beatles, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that would so, be a good mix. It's very, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. So my question for you and everybody, uh, for you right now, Rafo, you're playing uh, Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. Oh, but I love you, the music of Mario Odyssey. I know. Okay. This is why it's a trick question. Okay. So you have to put on mute your TV, uh sound doesn't work okay and you need to hear music okay right? okay which album you will use honestly with mario odyssey i want or which band or which band music you will i don't use? know if i necessarily have a band but i have more of a genre i think for mario odyssey i'd want some sort of like upbeat tempo jazz music that's just what i picture as part of that vibe with Mario Odyssey. I love the open, beautiful sound of Mario Odyssey, so I wouldn't go for anything like hard and fast. I would go for some jazzy upbeats. Even like the theme song for that is pretty upbeat tempo, you know. What about Paladins? Ooh, Paladins, I'd want some good rock music. I'd want some heavy rock music. I don't know who. Wolf Mother? Maybe some Wolf Mother music or even uh, Greta Van Fleet, who's a newer band. 
Sounds a lot like Zeppelin. So sounds. for me, for me, uh, most recently, I think the perfect music for Doom is Slayer. That makes sense. I feel like they, Doom is Slayer. You know, yeah. yeah. And for for Dark Soul, I think Iron Maiden, man, it's perfect too. Didn't didn't Paul McCartney write some music for Destiny or Bungie or something recently? I don't know. I think he did a couple years ago. I think he did something like that. I I would love to see. Uh, I think Michael Jackson did some work with. Sonic the Hedgehog uh, back Oh, yeah, yeah, for Sonic. I would definitely like to see more uh, influence from some bands that we like take some weird music. As much as I don't like, no hate, no hate. I'm not a Billie Eilish fan, per se. No, no hate, again. But I do like her style of vibe and weirdness. I could see her playing, you know, writing some music for a game that has, you know, weird Death Stranding type stuff, you know, happening, so. For the Mario games I'll, and Sonic games, I will use Queen, Queen music. Really? Yeah. They are, they got that rock rock opera sound, so yeah. that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I that could would see be that. Cool. I, could, I could see that. I could see Queen writing some really cool Happiness. recipes. Re, rest in peace, Freddy. But some really cool, uh, like a horror, like, like Luigi's Mansion. I feel like they would have some really cool music for something like that, really operatic, Phantom of the Opera type stuff, you know. I what like about it. Street Fighter? Ooh, That's Street so... Fighter's pretty hard because it's pretty perfect. Pretty hard, man. Yeah, I don't know if I have any for Street Fighter. Maybe just some old 80s bands, you know, to hop in there. You know, hop in there with some of that that, that glam rock. Maybe I think I could handle some of that in there. So, yeah. All right. Um, why is that said? Let us know. There's all We talked about controllers. What were your favorite? What were the worst? Uh, will streaming replace consoles? Also, do you think there'll be one love, one world with video games someday at some point where everything is on one system? Or uh, last thing is the bands. What bands do you want to hear write some songs or uh, or to replace the, the scary word to replace some of the music? So, Gabo, is that it, bro? Uh, what else? That's it. Happiness. That's it. Happiness? That's it for tonight. We just recorded uh, three of these. So, <laughs> yeah. We just got done talking I, I'm about willing aliens. to do the four. Let's do oh. the four. Oh, I don't have time for four. The only four you're going to get right now is Fortnite. Not going to happen. All right, I'm saying goodbye. Oh, uh, really? Oh. Goodbye. Uh,